So in this uh, short tutorial in uh, Fusion 360, we will showcase how we can use the NFC tags uh, with Watt.io to embed them inside the design. So we will show the standard NFC tags, uh, which will be placed on the top here. Um, so just to make it easy and simplify uh, things, uh, we will actually take the components and we have prepared components. These are also available for you. So you can actually uh, take the link, which is on this YouTube, and go to Watt.io and, and download. So uh, the standard tag is uh, 25 millimeter uh, in diameter and is round, about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 millimeter thick. It has a 3M glue uh, on the bottom. And uh, these three tags I'm showing now are all available on the lostboyslab.shop. Uh, and uh, they are specially made by Lost Boys Lab and Watt.io Corporation to fit well for 3D printing. The other NFC tag is 18 millimeters, and obviously with a smaller antenna, you get a little bit shorter range when you're tapping with your mobile phone. It's still 10 to 40 millimeters, and uh, these have approximately 10 millimeters shorter range. Uh, the same goes for the 20 by 10 rectangular size. So I'm just dragging them in here to showcase this for you. So these are also easy to implement. And which one you choose is, is of course, depending on your geometry and and so on. Uh, we we think it's best to start with a 25 millimeter. It's, it's like a standard uh, component. So so how do you do when you build a slot? Uh, this is like basic uh, 101 in the CAD software, but we will still show it. So I choose the bottom because this one is actually printed like this and I would like to have the tap function in the center of the geometry. So uh, easily just start here, uh, click the bottom and we have a nice center point already. So it's actually quite easy. We uh, add uh, one to two millimeter. In my case, I'm adding one millimeter. Uh, finishing the sketch. This is basically all you have to have. And of course, a rectangular shape, if you want to use that one. Use the normal extrude command um, and pull it down. So do a minus 1.4, 1 1.5. And then you can use the offset to actually get it into the construction. So basically, we look from the side now, you have it quite nicely uh, integrated. And it's no pro problem when you print, because also this product will be printed, so the pause will be quite early in the 3 the printing, and uh, there's nothing that will harm the, the surface finish or anything like this. So then you can click OK. Uh, we can, of course, place uh, these uh, NFC tags also if we want to be very, very accurate. But in this case, I will not uh, do that. Uh, I will, however, uh, run an analysis. Um, so let's uh, have a section uh, and do a little bit of a close up here. So just to show you, here is the slot. And, and of course, since it will be printed this way, you will uh, put the actual paws at the top of this uh, slot. Place the NFC uh, tag uh, on your 3D printer and uh, then could just continue printing and um, that's all you have to do uh, to actually work with nfc tags in the horizontal way thank you very much